This video talks you through the reading test. At the start of the reading test, you have one minute to read through the instructions before starting reading part A. You are reminded that the 15 minutes for part A will start as soon as you click next. There is also a reminder that at the end of this section, there is an optional 10 minute break. As we saw in the tutorial for reading part A, the screen splits into two with the left hand panel containing the four texts and the questions in the right hand panel. You can scroll up and down each panel independently. You can also use the hand icon in the top left hand corner to grab and move the text up or down more quickly than scrolling. But remember, after using the hand tool, you need to click on the icon again before you are able to use the highlighting function within the text. If you would like to make the text larger, then you can zoom in using the plus symbol and zoom out using the minus symbol, or use some of the preset options from the drop down menu. The first section of questions in reading part A are presented as multiple choice options. So you can simply click A, B, C or D to make your choice. This is a slight difference to the paper based version, although the questions are the same. You can highlight a word or words in each question if you would like to. This icon below each question will open the text in a new screen and is there in case the left hand panel isn't working for some reason. If everything is working correctly with the screen split into two like you can see now, I would just ignore these icons. If you close the left hand panel accidentally, then you can click on the icon to reopen the panel. Similarly, if you accidentally unpin the text panel, you can click on the two arrows icon to return it to its original position. It is my recommendation to leave the two panels open as you can see now and as they are first displayed throughout reading part A. Questions 8 to 20 are presented and answered in a similar way to the paper-based test. Use either your mouse or the tab keyboard button to move to the next available answer space. Make sure you follow the instructions to only write either a word or short phrase from one of the texts and not full sentences which might not be fully viewable to assessors. In this part of the test, you will get a five minute warning when this is the amount of time remaining. The next screen is for the scheduled optional break. Remember, if you move away from the screen, you will have to complete the security checks again. You can skip this optional break and carry straight on if you prefer. This is what we are going to do. The 45 minutes for reading parts B and C start automatically. These parts of the test are presented with numbered buttons for the different questions, like we saw in the tutorial. Buttons 1 to 6 are for the part B questions, and button 7 to 8 for each of the two part C extracts. So you can skip ahead and look at the topics of the different texts, or forward and backward through the questions using the numbered buttons, or the next and back buttons along the bottom to come back to questions you want to change your mind on or move to the next one. This means each part B question is on a new page and removes the need for any scrolling. Highlighting in the text is possible, as well as in the question. The strikeout function is also available while you are choosing your answer. But remember, you only have to choose the answer you think is correct. Striking out is optional. Once you have chosen an answer, the corner for this button on the left hand side turns over. 
This gives you a quick visual indicator of which questions you have answered and which questions you still have left to answer. An alert is provided at the top of the screen when you have 30 minutes, 15 minutes and 5 minutes left. When you come to the two pages for Part C, each text is provided in the left-hand panel and the eight questions for that text in the right-hand panel. You can move the panels independently to only focus on the paragraph related to the question you are working on. As for reading Part A, you can use the hand symbol in the top left-hand corner to grab the text and quickly move it down or up to reduce the amount of scrolling you're doing. But remember, if you have used the hand symbol, you need to click the icon again before you will be able to highlight within the text. If you would like to make the text larger, you can use the zoom options or some of the preset options from the drop-down menu. Again, you will see the text icons under each question, but if the two panels are displaying correctly, as you see now, I would ignore these and leave the two panels open for the whole of reading part C. If you do accidentally close the text panel, then use this icon to reopen it to the original position. You can use the highlighter on words and sentences in the text, as I've shown you, as well as in the question. Strikeout functionality is also available for the answer options if you would like to use it, but you only have to choose the answer you think is correct by selecting it with the left mouse button. Once you have answered all of the questions, you can use the numbered buttons on the left side to quickly return to any questions you want to have another attempt at or to check through your answers. If you use all of the time available to you, when the 45 minutes has elapsed, the reading test will close with a pop-up to explain that the time for this section is complete. I'm going to close it early and confirm this decision so we can move on to the writing test. If you have not correctly set your screen resolution before the test starts, then the split screen will not work correctly. Instead, the texts will display over the top of the questions and you will not easily be able to review the texts and questions at the same time. You will need to close and reopen the text panel, which will appear over the top of the questions each time you want to add an answer or read the next question. For this reason, setting your screen resolution correctly before the test starts is critical and we have video guides about how to do this for your computer.